That's funny. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. I'm ready. I'm ready. I really am. Flush. Word of the day. Goal line. What's cracking big dogs? This is the Fade the Public podcast. My name is Nicholas. His name is Animal. His name is Snacks by birth. If you are listening via podcast, all of the audio is now on the Fade the Public podcast. That is all its it. own podcast on iTunes, on Google, on Spotify, on Shopify, on Stitcher, uh, on the radio, XM Radio, MySpace, MySpace LinkedIn, Don't forget MySpace. Twitter. Yeah. We didn't forget MySpace. We fucking just said it. So this is a Fade the Public podcast. Make sure you are following all of us on the Twitter as well as our editor, Scott, the chief video chopper today today we have just a wild <laughs> random slew of, of I'm just things la- to cover looking at these pictures and laughing the show sheet's a really fun one so i'm not going to sit here and give you a table of contents what we're going to do here is have scott hit the motherfucking intro and get into it All right, so it was a uh, eventful weekend. There was some stuff going on on fantasy Twitter and on Instagram. I'm sure most of you have seen it, and if not, you will get the pleasure to see it now. There's a trend going around with the NFL quarterbacks being uh, transformed into That's women, fine. or some of them look pretty good. I I was gonna start off with my favorite one. No, no. Do you want to start off with your favorite one? Is it, Jimmy, gonna, is it Jimmy G? Are we coming out the gate with Jimmy G? Dude, he's fucking gorgeous. He looks like he's probably 6'4", 6'7", well, a theoretically, WNBA uh, player. Th- theoretically, half of these are over six foot, so you know they're all fudge up But none of them they're actually They're all fudge look. but listen, that face is... Matt, tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, listen, here's the thing with Jimmy First, G. He's, he's a good looking guy already. I'm not sure they did that much to the picture other than just give him long hair <laughs> and maybe just, throw on some mascara. He's just a beautiful so, person. You just really trying to have person. sex with a, a girl that's got a thicker neck than you? That's my question. They all... No, they all... The, the, most of them look like women. Ah, uh, that's a stretch. I mean, not most. Definitely not most. So you're number one on the number one hit list right I now think is Jimmy, Jimmy G. I think, I think Janny... G is the hottest <laughs> one on this list. I I think you can make the case for it. Definitely top three. I don't know if it's my favorite. I'm a blonde guy personally. I okay. like All right. Ones. I think there's also different. There's different tiers. There's probably some hot. I think he's the only hot one. Then there's cute. There's some exotic, and then there's just some really butt fucking ugly. Well, see, that's see. I wouldn't say that that, that Jimmy G is the only hot one because because Dak I, Prescott's on. I was going to say. I know my man Nick. <laughs> As someone here who he's Dak listen, Prescott looks his eye on. eight years old. Dak Prescott's picture looks like every girl who's ever broken my heart in my life. <laughs> well, I like the Spanish girl. Maybe that's girls. a problem. She's exotic. This is what like Dak Prescott looks like if we found an alien species. What their females would I think be like. The bangs on just don't work though. Uh, listen. Oh, whoa, whoa, it, whoa, 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 whoa. Cut. Uh, keep that in there uh, because that was yeah. That was that was, that was stupid. That was sad. She, it's a fucking Dallas Cowboy. Dak, that's why you think she's ugly. You know she's fucking he's just hot. Just looking at the jersey, like oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Dak, Dak. You know the second ugliest on the next page is Tony fucking Romo. Dak is so fucking hot. If you could even remote, if you get bangs as a, as a woman, this is just this is just and you could rock facts. Him? If you get bangs and you're even remotely good looking, that means you're probably a absolute smoke when you don't have bangs. So the fact that Dak comes in tan with bang, I love the dirty blonde hair too. Dark hair transitioning into dirty I don't know blonde. If you need that. Dark. I couldn't name a, a better like my type. Listen, listen. Well, yes. You're, I'm, re- I'm, re- ty- I'm, I'm ready to risk fun. it all. I'm ready to risk it all for Dak on this fun. list, and this is easy. You know, uh, do you know there's a sneaky underrated one? He's an alien, if, and I'm into it. Are we about the same person here? I don't know. Someone it's help me out here. Dak is an absolute smoker on this. Animal, you got to make Danny sure you can keep, it doesn't count. keep track. If uh, Can you see whether or not that thing's on? No. Love that. Like, all right, what? so you made it very clear you like Dak. You were getting to someone I lo- here. No, no, no. I mean, I love Dak. All right, so you love Dak. I don't, I don't think we're thinking of the same one. Right now for Dak. I don't think we're thinking the same one. I was going to go with our, uh, maybe possibly someone that you like just in general as their normal person, uh, Danielle Jones here. It's Daniela Dimes, okay? Right. And and she's 
Adorable. I look at her Adorable. and I think she's going to get in a race car and start dating Aaron Rodgers because it looks like Danica Patrick. <laughs> Who's a very good looking woman. That's that's why she's on my list right here, my man. Hey, man. I will say you you made the point last night when we were talking about it. Uh, the body on Daniela Dimes does Just, not match the you face. Gotta, you got to cover the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Up. yeah. I was going to say. It's very, it's very brute like. And I Some think. Some of them are tough to look at. Like Kyler Murray's face. You guys are just gross. trying to get the shit beat out of you by these women that you're picking. <laughs> or no, here's, thick here's necks, the next thick one. shoulders. No, like, the, the one I was thinking of is a little bitch in person and in this picture, but looks like Becky the Icebox uh, O'Shea, Marcus Mariota down here. Where's that? Adorable. Page? First page. Adorable. Marcus Mariota is uh, is is, uh, in, she's cute. Should be cuter. Like, yeah. I really want to be into the Marcus Mariota uh, one, but like, there's something about I think his chin, his man. like squinchy ass face. Like, I, I mean, it's a chin. The chin, the chin, I think chin's like a, too thick. I think there's a, a lot of sex appeal there. It's a very broad, a lot of sex chin. appeal. Yeah. So it's basically Mariota is like if you took uh, the hotness of Dak and then turned it down about halfway. Mm-hmm. That's what Mariota spits out. Listen. Actually, Jake Cutler kind of looks like a, a a white, disgusting version of Dak with the Jay bangs. Cutler See, looks- that's what happens when bangs go wrong. Yes. Then you flip the next page Jay- when bangs go right. No, Jay Cutler Jeanette Cutler, Cutler could good. not. No, stop. No, no, like, no. She looks like, no. like next maybe thing you're like going to tell us is Andrew Luck looks attractive. I feel like Jay Cutler's a little milfy, like maybe older woman. Can like- get it. Looks like that if she shaved her pubes, she'd have a ton of red stubble. Cannot. All over I cannot it. get behind how to shave Jay- them. I cannot get behind the Jay Cutler. Uh, what about Peyton Manning? They did him no favors. <laughs> looks like an old Just dick. Just an he's ugly a, man. He actually looks like a man. He actually looks like a 90-year-old man yeah. that sits on his stoop and like does, in, in a rocking chair, you know, like in fucking Nebraska or some shit. Yeah, Fuck. I'm not down with that. Your quarterback, Drew Locke, is a little cute. I see she looks you like say a, that. She looks like a party animal. Not bad, yeah. Looks like someone who was probably real cute in yeah. there. Like, yeah. she just, he looks like very just like a generic. It's a she. She looks like a generic woman. Just like, just plain, nothing special. Not hot, not ugly. But, you know, it's whatever. Can we talk about Amy Schumacher? Because that is just a disgusting fucking picture. It's uh, Amy, Amy Schumer? Amy Schumacher, yeah. Oh. Amy well, Schumacher. because I thought Amy Schumer looks exactly like Jared Goff here. Where's Jared Goff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I could see that a little bit, too. I, I think it, the, the... I also think I also think Ryan Fitzpatrick is the third, <laughs> the third twin in white chicks. <laughs> the big white chick with that thick fucking jaw. <laughs> that's it. That's a, it looks like a... No, oh, it legitimately looks like white chicks. It's ridiculous. AJ McCarron is dude, br- brutal looking. Imagine if he was as hot as his wife or his mother, for that matter. I haven't seen either, but I'll what? trust your, I'll trust your Google opinion. Google now. I'll trust your opinion. No, I actually wanted to, the guy we were talking about before we started, that I said, I can't believe you don't see this. Matt Ryan looks like Tyler, uh, looks like Aerosmith. Looks like Steven Tyler. Mm, wow, okay. It's Good like call. almost identical. Yeah, yeah you're right. I, I got you. I got right? you, yeah. Now that you see it and I yeah. say that, it's just like, yeah. And he's even given like a fucking nice little like a rock star. Yeah, yeah. it was uh Yeah. yeah. Go on. Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> if you go to the next page where Josh Allen is going off of our last TikTok, oh my gosh. Josh Allen looks like Amanda Bynes eight <laughs> eight Amanda Bynes. <laughs> <laughs> and Tua Tua does it. <laughs> So, uh, we thought Tua was just a staffer girl that was. Like, we were wondering why to what why this girl was in the picture. Yeah, that looks that's like two flaws of a comp, of a yeah. It's, it's, that, it's a little alarming to be that's honest. A, that's like a real girl from a yearbook. And they ask mm-hmm. they ask like, are redheads attracted to redheads? I want you to look at Sam Darnold. The answer is no, at all. That is a hideous looking woman. But I mean, Samantha Darnold looks terrible. Uh, no, I, there's no. There's, I she agree. smokes. She smokes Marlboro Red Hundreds. And crack. Dude, I don't know. Like, if you look at Joe Burrow, it looks like that looks like a chick that just got arrested for possession of crack, and that's her mugshot. Yeah, but she's like a cute ass mugshot. Kind of, yeah. yeah. A li- it's like a little less crack heady. She gets it, prettier the longer you look at her. If Joe Exotic had a daughter, that's like, seriously, look Josephine at her. Burrow. Get a little closer and look. She gets prettier. Just like, just like, a, like a hot blonde. I'm good. I'm good. That's a pass for me. We're gonna pass there. That's a no for me, dog. That's not not attractive. One more that we. Uh, Kristen Stewart, David Carr, Derek Carr. Yeah, David Carr gonna, looks goth. I was gonna throw out there, uh, Big Ben, because not for for looks, for for beauty, but for the opposite end here. Ugliest person on this list has to be Big Ben. I honestly, I think Sam Darnold might be the ugliest. I do too. But Big Ben looks like oh, yeah. literally every like Sam Darnold looks mom so you bad. see like shopping at like the grocery store. It just looks like a mom. Listen. 
when you were growing up, like your friend's mom that fucking mm -hmm. would make you grow That cheese. makes you like pizza bagels yeah. and shit. Like, come on, honey. <laughs> yeah. All the kids I'm are sorry, you. Boys. The pizza bagels are <laughs> Never, <laughs> ever, ever hit a woman, ever, under any circumstance. But Matt Stafford makes me want to fucking hit him. Her really? so bad. Where is Stafford? Oh, dude, that's what I was saying before. Uh, Stafford just looks like a why? Stafford just looks like a really nice lady. It looks like the girl you see in the library with the big backpack. She looks like she makes YouTube videos about how to like how to bake blue, a cake. Uh, the light blue blouse with like a bow. Too that's, happy. That's yeah. Matt Stafford. Yeah. Too happy. That's ridiculous. I, Too. Happy. I don't really appreciate. What what, what about Jameis Oprah Winfrey Winston uh, or Teddy <laughs> Oprah Winfrey <laughs> Bridgewater? I would vote for Jameis Winston as a uh, as a candidate for mayor. That's it. Really strikes me like we don't see the hand, but I imagine the rest of the picture is like this. Like, Jameis literally looks like any like WNBA player. Yeah, looks like a real WNBA player. You told me that. Uh, Andrew Luck actually might be the ugliest one on this list. It, 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 you know what? It's scary. That's like, that's like like insidious. the face was already ugly, and then they threw on like that nasty curly ass hair, and they didn't do him right. But then again, he's not. He, a, he he's retired. Not Fuck that person. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He's actually might be even worse yeah, as say, a guy. Andrew Luck <laughs> right. never really had a good shot to begin with. So true. Um, lastly, I feel like we should we should just end with the most beautiful one. And you want to talk? Me. You want to start where we ended it again, Dak? No, no, no. <laughs> you want to end where we started? We so didn't. Yeah. We didn't bring her up. Um, Patricia Mahomes. No, P Patricia Mahomes is a little smoky. But I'm trying to think of a girl name for Ryan. That's such a I ratchet feel like haircut. Ryan works for what? Ryan. Ryan's a girl's name. Ryan's a girl's name. So yeah. Ryan Tannehill. Oh, this is, is embarrassing, dude. This is embarrassing. Smoke, she's cute. It's like, just, no way! It's, it's just the opposite of, of a girl that's a, uh, that I'm attracted to. Pale and blonde. I don't is just think. Not she, I don't think there's any cuteness in her at all. And the flannel, it's like it just it, it ruins it. I'm really surprised you say it's that. Even a low cut flannel. I'm surprised Beautiful. you don't like her. I don't like. She reminds me of a girl, kind of that we. Eh, not really. I'm not that we what? You guys like double teams or something? Where are you going there? We do that. No, I would never cross swords with snacks. Why? Fun time. Because I'd pick up some kind of venereal disease. That's a ridiculous statement. <laughs> I had cancer 10 years ago. <laughs> it's not the disease I was referring to. No, I'm as clean as a whistle. Yeah, it's because you don't. Cause My feet smell like shit, virgin. but I'm a clean as whistle. We are very aware of your smelly ass feet. Yeah. All, they bitch about the smelly feet. What? We're men. Listen, we're men. We That's not. It's 2020. Night, it's not. It's not. Okay. And as I was running for the rushing, I was rushing for the winning touchdown. I got a whiff of some terrible ass feet, <laughs> and that's and why he said that. Man. Flicked the controller a little bit and went left and ran out on the one yard line and lost the Madden game because of your smelly feet. Right there, that's just the most absurd. That's exactly statement. how it happened. Am I right? No, because Nick, you, you were right there. I need you to vouch. for You me literally out said word for word. Well, I'm trying to run out the clock. All right, here's the deal. Then, just why don't you just quickly, briefly explain what happened? Were his feet smelly? Not last night. No. These are two exclusive. Conversations. Okay, but my, last night I could tell you my feet were not smelly. Terrible smelly feet, but your collapse had nothing to do with the feet. <laughs> Dog, he put the team on his back. Dog, let's go inside the mind of a Greg Jennings. All right, animals chugging down the field. You don't give a fuck about the clock. This is the clock. And Damn, baby, where's your going, baby? Uh, why the fuck would you run out of bounds if you stop there to to note the clock? <laughs> I don't know. Here comes the marijuana creeping into Animal's head. Animal goes out of the one instead of scoring to milk the clock, but he goes out of bounds, and then he calls his own timeout. Stacked again. Oh! Fourth and goal on the one. This is... Football. Oh, the fullback Steve with Mike Allstock turns on, and he does not convert. Oh, woo! I thought that was getting in for sure. Animal. Remember when you went out of bounds at the one yard line? I'm old enough to remember that. Oh my God. Take it to the crib! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the spread was minus eight and a half, by the way. And Snacks covers for his boys. I was so close. And then I called that time out. I thought Zeke was going to come back in the game. It was still Tony Pollard. Devastated. <laughs> I didn't Your collapse was disgusting. Part. We're not just, even going to get into Madden. Just want to no, know it's, it's, about. It's embarrassing. I'm done. Dak, uh, if you would risk it all for Dak, drop a comment. Uh, yeah, I would love to hear in the comments who you find hottest, the sexiest. ugliest, and most underrated. I have a quick question okay. though before we okay. leave. Before we leave this outstanding topic, 
Why did they do Sam Darnold like so bad with the red hair and make Carson Wentz a full blown Bond? I mean, Carson Wentz is disgusting. He, I I never said he was an attractive male, but he it's not even resemblance of red hair. He's a, he has red hair. I mean, it's pretty red. That what? Am I am I colorblind? It's, it's red. It's like strawberry blonde. Red. No, that's like. That's blonde. That's blonde. That's more blonde. It's red and blonde, it's, but it's more the blonde top than is red. red. It should the, not. It okay, my point is, it should not be even remotely close to that. That blonde. I think Darnold's hair is more orange than yeah than Wentz's is for sure. But Wentz has orange hair. Yeah, Wentz doesn't. Yeah, if, if we saw that color hair on top of Wentz's actual head, we'd be like, that's not Carson Wentz. No. So honestly, and everyone sucks on this list except Lamar for Dak. Jackson. They they really like couldn't do anything with his eyes. They had to put glasses on him. All right, regression. Regression. This is a word yeah, that is you're gonna get me fucking thrown around a lot in the fantasy community, in the fantasy uh, universe, and uh, it's something that we want to talk about a little bit here. Regression. What is it? What is regression? It's what people who it's what fucking fraud farce analysis go. use. Go off, King. As fantasy go. in fantasy football research, because here's the fucking problem with the regression. When you say regression on one thing, right? We only look at the most polarizing stats when we talk about regression right we automatically look at touchdown number that someone hit that we're like that has to regress there are multiple problems with this fucking argument one is that if you're going to just look at one statistic with regression you have to look at all of them because if someone has really high volume in terms of like their touchdown rate that also means that their rate is really high because they had low volume so if they were so good the year prior wouldn't that mean that the volume would go up the following you have to look at regression everywhere the other thing is with a 16 game fucking sample size in the nfl that's way too small to actually come to a conclusion on numbers. So when you look at like NBA or MLB, they're five and 10 times the size number of games. So we have way more data for things where like a, a defender slips and falls. Someone runs for 80 yards. That skews the entirety of yeah, someone's statistics. That, outlier, right? Right there. that could be like 10% of your rushing yardage total off one play over the course of 82 games, NBA or five year sample size. Like that shit works itself out. So regression is a fucking terrible argument. I rest my case. I mean... Yeah, I was going to say uh, something along those lines, but I think you said it a lot better than I would have. So be careful when you hear the term regression and you see all these stats about like guys who are going to have positive regression. And it's a very go-to line for a lot of people. That It's not a reason. to. F I think the overall thing is like it's not a reason to fade a player. Be just because someone was really good last year and their numbers are going to regress, like Aaron Jones won't run for 16 touchdowns. Right. That doesn't mean that he exactly. still can't, he can't be a top twelve same. running back, and you still don't like you don't yeah. you don't just fade a player because someone says that he's going to regress. Like There's Lamar Jackson, exactly. other ways to get to that place that he was before. He doesn't have to do it through sixteen touchdowns. No. He can have you know more receptions. He can have more receiving yards. He can. You know, there's just. There's too many variables in a sport like football where there's too many guys on the field versus like NBA. You have five guys on your team on the court at basically all times yeah. versus the NFL. For 16 games. Is there, is there an example where there wouldn't be five guys on the court for each team in the NBA? It's uh, a great question. If I'm enough gonna, guys fell out and a couple get ejected, you're going to have to play with four. You got I was no going to say you'd have to have, what, is it 13 on a roster? 12. So you'd, 12, so you'd have to have seven guys. No, you have to fall out. You have to have eight guys. Eight guys fall out. Yeah. Math, you know, you put me on the spot with math, and I don't appreciate. Also, it. still wrong because thirteen minus eight is still five, <laughs> so nine guys. So who got it wrong? No, no, both well, of it, you, I think. No, it, well, you said thirteen guys. I said twelve, so it wouldn't be seven because that would still be five. It would have to be eight. Eight guys. Twelve minus eight is four. So you did, depending on what the number of players on the roster were. That was where the argument. Yes. Yeah. So you guys differed on the number of total rosters. I, your math was probably wrong, regardless of what yeah, the roster say, I, were. I can't do simple subtraction, so okay. I didn't get that right. So any other points for regression? Oh, uh, just be careful. Don't don't take it. Don't yeah. look at it as like the the end all be all stat. Like oh, this guy's going to regress. I got to stay away from him. Just look at the points per game. I think is like a. No, you know, we're going off topic there. Points per game is probably one yeah, of the and it's like it's stats. like Lamar Jackson's points per game regress. Does that mean he won't be quarterback one next year? Probably not. I still take him over the field to be the quarterback one well, next yeah, year. Like, perfect example: Christian McCaffrey's points per game was what, like twenty-seven? It was the highest year. of all time. He's going to regress, but guess what? He could still have twenty-four points per game, still be the leader, still be the RB one. You could still be. Is he could have four points per game less, and I'm still taking him as the RB one. Is he going to regress? Probably not. He's probably going to go <laughs> fucking higher. It's well, ridiculous. Well, look, you know what I'm saying. No, 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 I know, I know. But I think Aaron Jones is kind of the perfect example because that 16 touchdowns is such a beast. But he, like you said, he could easily be top 12 running like, back. Like, why, why does he have to regress efficiency-wise? Efficiency right. He's been one of the best goal line runners over the last three years, and it's a 16-game sample. So what if, what if like, the next 
four games, that number, because it's such a small sample, goes up to like 22% touchdown rate, which is ridiculous. But over a four-game span, that shit could happen, you know? And that boosts his overall season-long total. But over 82 games, 160 games, that shit will flatline itself like me killing stacks. See, oh, shit. you know. Oh, shit. Speaking, speaking of killing, uh, I was going to transition into Corona. That's kind of like... Maybe. Uh, that's kind of that's is that kind, like too dark. That's pretty, yeah, that's let's pretty, go with it. Pretty morbid. Speaking though. of the energy, killing, the energy you went into it with it was, was great. Was, you should have just went with it. No, no, Scott, leave all this. Don't it. cut anything out. Speaking of killing, <laughs> let's talk about COVID because we also have some concerns here. We haven't really discussed this and whether or not we actually think there's going to be an NFL season. We do all this this talk about fantasy football and everything, but with no how clear. do we really feel? Because I'll tell you what, I 100. percent I'm not worried about there being a season. I think we're 100% having an NFL season with games. I'm not worried about fans, but games are happening. NFL is too big to fail. Well, let's put some context behind why we're talking about it right now, right? We're like four months into this shit. We want to talk about it right now because over the last, you know, if you're not on Twitter, then you might not have been seeing a lot of the shit going on. But over the last week, there have been tons players. of reports, tons of athletes, Dude, college Zeke, football players, just got hit. MLB players, NFL players. Yeah. Like Tampa Bay is saying a couple of their players. So it's starting to hit the athletes now. Maybe it has been hitting them and they haven't been reporting them, but now that all the teams are back together, it's starting to hit a bunch of the athletes. So more people are opening their eyes like, Oh shit, maybe there is more of a problem here than we think. I, my initial thoughts haven't wavered because my initial thoughts were that we weren't going to play any other team sports besides football. I never thought college football was going to be played because there's so much more that goes into college running itself than an NFL team, right? NFL teams have more players, but college, you need to open up the fucking campus for thousands and yeah. thousands of kids. So I never, you know, the fact that all these college players are, it just, it doesn't waver because my expectations, I think we're in the right place from the start. So I'm, we're okay. Percentage wise, NFL regular season happens this year, maybe 12 games, whatever it is. 100%. Yes. 70. I just am growing more more concerned by the day. Like, I know what your point is. It's too much of a beast. There's too much money, and I get all that. Where we're trending right now, what are the two, like, states that are getting absolutely assaulted with this? Florida and Texas. That's five teams right off the bat. We're in a good spot right now in New York City and New Jersey where everything is starting to die down a little bit, which is great, but the rest of the, there's the rest of the country, too. I am of the belief that seeing all these positive tests come back from NFL players, like college, I guess— College is even more Once, difficult because they have nothing to play for. Exactly. Like it's, not like, it's not like their family's yeah. money right. is on the line, you know? Right. I mean, like providing. Yeah. The only difference that is like you're talking about if they want to go into the NFL, how do we figure out? Like yeah. Which is also like a that. very, very small percentage of college players too, yeah. which is Correct. even less Correct. likely. At the end of the day, like I said, 70% because I do think it's too much of a beast. And I think the NFL was lucky that this whole thing really started in March, months and months before. And that's why it I It couldn't never, have been better timing No, it could NFL. not have been. And that's why I never really worried because there was so much time like, all right, you know, I'm a pretty stupid person, so I figured a lot of this would be better. But is it really any better? I, I don't. I don't think so. I, I think once once camp starts and you start seeing outbreaks from from players, w what are they really realistically going to do? Because then everybody's got a quarantine for two weeks, so you're missing practice time. You go into the regular season. What'll well, be crazy? Yeah, what'll well, be crazy? Starting quarterback like goes down. You, Lamar Jackson goes down. That's two weeks. The Ravens go zero two those two weeks. Then how many other players dicey, it tracked? Yeah. It's it's just a, I think there's a very fine line. I pray to God. I'm at the point where I told you I was going to be like just devastated with no fans. I don't care if there's no fans. Whatever. Oh, I, that was my other thing. People were like really thinking there was going to be fans. I thought that no, was an ignorant no, take no. from the start. Like I never I, expected I, I, there to my, be fans. My point was I think I think what they would do was I guess being a Giant fan, I know like the season ticket holders probably could fill up like 20 percent of the stadium, if not more. I thought Is that really maybe, season ticket holders. Oh, there's, 20%. There, there's so many yeah that's oh. why i thought maybe you could do something like that where you put where it's six seats apart or something and you have people there because i think i'm in the belief that football is the only sport that i, w I don't want to say needs fans but will be very very detrimental to the sport without them because what do you, what do you think would be the biggest impacts of not having fans on the field i, I think players adrenaline yeah you, like you, obviously you, you go up against each other in practice but with the rules nowadays you're not really hitting like you are, and you're not tackling like you are. You get like this kind of rage of emotion when fans are screaming defense and all this shit. What are you playing for when there's just dead nothing sound? I, I think agree. the human body, the human element, the human adrenaline of an NFL fuck. player. I think it'll get a lot more chippy because it's very personal. For sure, but that, yeah. that, that, that could be a problem. Yeah. Uh, see, I think like once the the ball is snapped, they say hike. Like it's going to be back in business as usual. They're they're 
Could be something like gym class hero action, where like the guys who ball out in practice do yeah, it again on the field. I think you're going to see a lot more like seven on seven type slinging. Right, exactly, could be like, yeah. it could be a great opportunity for those guys, like guys to break out. You know, those guys that maybe they're nervous when they're in front of the whole stadium, and now they don't have, to have the less pressure. Who knows? This is going to be the weirdest barrier. year too. And also, like guys who haven't been training with the team and stuff are going to come in probably out of shape, a lot worse shape. So like, yeah. you might have backups that are in good shape now competing because the other guys can't stay on the field and shit. So. Things we're we're going to learn a lot in about a month, yeah, about a month when training camp starts opening. If they're getting like a week or two into it and everything's like really okay and no one's really testing positive and they're, they're practicing their social distance, they're wearing their mask outside, the I think it's going to be all right. Thing for, the uh, real training camp is going to be a true bar of how I think the, the season's going to go. The, the tough thing is like you want to say, oh, just put everybody in a bubble. But dude, teams are so big. You yeah. can't. It's not like NBA where it really is like twelve ball. dudes. You yeah. know, and, and you could a go. Guys you could go to Disney team. World, yeah. and you, they could be isolated like there. Multiple hotels. You can like probably fit all of the NBA in one hotel. But like the NFL, it's too You're many gonna, people. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about. You would need to have like 60, five or six isolated spots that they Minimum. incumbent. You know what I mean? Like that. There, there's going to be someone to traveling. It's going to be very, very, very difficult. So something that um you were mentioning before training camp, Hard Knocks is set to premiere August 11th. For the first time, I don't know if it's actually the first time ever, but yeah, two teams. teams. So, coronavirus is going on. There's all these concerns about whether or not we're going to even have a season and being in contact. Well, let's bring in full camera crews yeah. and do it for two teams. Yeah. I just yeah, don't do one, do yeah, two. Like I don't get the the thinking behind this, especially like L.A. Like you're going to L.A. now too, like a very populated city. This just seems like the NFL's continued prevalence to at all costs not waver i don't know yeah. if it, because like from For the sure. start they're like we're releasing our schedule today we are not moving the nfl draft we are going on as if everything is okay and that's the powerhouse they are but and i'm wondering if like this is all still just a show to keep you know sponsors in check to keep hope up like because there's no there's no fucking way that you could reasonably project yourself to be having this hard knock season for no. August 11th. No. It makes no fucking sense. They barely even know if there's a training camp, but yet they're still coming out and saying, we got we got hard knocks. Not one team, two teams. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, why didn't they just fucking go to, like, Minnesota? And, like, go to a play... Like, or, like, not Minnesota... Like, they're a playoff team. Can't. Just, well, they have to agree to it, I thought. No, when if you're a playoff team. Playoff you know, team or, I think, new, new quarterback, new, new right? Coach. Or new rookie coach. quarterback. Rookie, okay. uh, first year head coach or a playoff team. Okay. So All right. Regardless, though, well, like... You're going to L.A. It's one of the most populated places in the country. And now you're going to do it with two teams. You're going to bring an extra camera crew? You got two camera crews now? I just have so many questions. Do they have training camp at the same place, those two? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm assuming they will, but then again... How are they going to do that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Well, they're not doing any intra-team practices, I think. Yeah, no, the they, 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 they already canceled that. It just yeah. seems like it's in such a questionable time for sports and everything going on. Just to, You're going to try and do extra now? Well, like, I, why? You, st I, you still got a month to figure that out. I think just to keep, like kind of what Nick was saying, like they're not wavering in any way, trying to keep their normalcy on and like, you know, not strike fear, like like my fear that we might not have a season. So, oh, we're having we're having hard knocks. Here, take it. Obviously, there's still got to be a lot of details to figure out, but. I'm just very interested in how it's going to turn out. I guess we'll uh, tune in August 11th and see. I guess that could kind of be like, a, I don't know, like a precursor almost to how operations will be held because like they're going to have to figure out how they're going to film this and like that shit's filmed on a weekly basis they film it that week day, they put yeah. the episode out like yeah. so it's going to have to be quick turnaround i don't know i'm very uh yeah I'm like very... what happens when a camera crew member tests positive yeah. and now like team members yeah. get get it from them like that's going to be a huge problem like oh if, if no one on the team had it other than like a camera guy that brought oh, it in, God. it's a huge problem. God. Yeah. Because then these guys were going to be saying like, I would have the never number of, it. The number of tests they're going to have to do just to make hard knocks happen for COVID is going to be which, out of control. Which, I mean, the testing in it. By the way, I want to I want to throw this in there. I got tested last week. I told you guys and I tweeted this out. The nasal test is the most fucked up thing. Terrible, right? It didn't It didn't hurt. Like I said, it, it literally, they stick this. Was it a little tickle? It, it, it wasn't a little tickle. It was like... It goes like in the... It's like deep throwing up your nose. Well, I mean... It yeah. tickled so bad that you immediately start crying. You like... It, it's just like downpouring tears, but it was like, ha, like the face I made... Uh, I don't. I would have been the ugliest woman on that quarterback. <laughs> I wish there was a camera like filming me getting that fucking thing stuck you up my nose. Should have done it, man. I think KFC when you he went. I like vlog. I should have vlogged it. He vlogged yeah. like when he went, like when like early. Corona. Yeah, this was like late March. He was like one of the first people to be publicly tested, like on the like, yeah. on the internet, because like he did it before the news. And, like he, that was, I mean, you know, shit like that. That's that's the thing though. I know testing is kind of scarce for most of us civilians, but the NFL has so much fucking money. 
that testing for them shouldn't be a problem. I'm not worried about them with testing. I'm just worried about actual procedures and then, and, you know. Do you season. think, do you think like, like bringing something up like, like a Lamar Jackson knock on wood or a top player, if they test positive seasons on, they're like week, yeah, you week, just, week 14 and they, they, this is like a must win game. Oh, like does the team sweep it under the rug? That's a good um, question. I mean, because if that's the case, if they uh, get caught doing that, anything that's ever happened to the cheating Patriots is going to look like nothing. Well, the problem with that is that's like borderline criminal because a hundred percent. I know. In danger if you know. This guy had like HIPAA laws or some shit. Well, I mean, day. cheating yeah. in the NFL is. I mean, when you think about it, it is criminal because the amount of money that would switch hands. But like, right. yeah, this is like life or this death. Kind of, this is yeah. this is that's like a good nothing question. They probably will do that. Shit. Hundred percent. I mean, you mean, do, yeah. you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me if the Cowboys need to win Week Seventeen, right? And Dak Prescott or or Zeke, well Zeke already had it, but say Dak Prescott. Stop tests making positive. me think about Dak. <laughs> <laughs> Dak, I'm about to start Dak texting all my exes. Dak, well, I guess they have Andy Dalton. Dak and Andy Dalton test positive. You really think Jerry Jones is not going to let them play if they like feeling fine? Here's the problem. If they're I not on their deathbed, they're te- Jerry Jones. Here's the problem. Scum of the earth. I don't think it's going to be like Jerry Jones is going to be the only one that sees a test and be like, oh, he's of course positive. not. But he, of course not. But, but I mean, what do you have, think has happened? He's going to have the puck. How do you think they pay all these guys? You don't it's think it's all under the books? Like an NFL staffer that's going to be like, oh, he tested positive. I let Goodell know. I let the league know. Like now he's quarantined for two weeks. Boom. Like they're not going to be like, oh, hey, Jerry, like. Just Twenty saying. grand. I won't say anything. I could promise you, Jerry Jones is staring right at those fucking tests when all of his players are getting it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, but he doesn't have the power to hide them. Yeah, I think you're failing. What to do you realize think happens the power with, with Jerry concussions? Jones. Like when a guy gets concussion, it's different. It's not like a pandemic type of thing. But it's about. also pretty much a life or death thing. You get hit the wrong way playing with a concussion, and going you could back easily in there. Die. Yeah, yeah, but concussion is another. It's something that like you can diagnose it. Yes, but it's not like. You could also paper, the, the, the player. Test. The player could theoretically say, "I am exactly." I am very much oh, fine. No, I'm fine. Versus like, I know no, I don't have Corona. There's no. Like, I think you do. There's no red that, button that says you have a concussion. I think I in that saying, situation, yes. though, like I could near the playoffs or something, I could see it happening. That would be fucking. It would be insane. Awesome. Well, it would be wild if they even just like someone happens like a playoff team and their star quarterback. Did you see play. the? Did you see the face masks? That are yeah, the, the that, that, that's, that yeah. never happened. There's no like way never motocross like they look like pretty yeah. badass, but yeah, they do look like motocross. It looks like, like Justin never, Tuck's old you face. Can't man. use that. This were did, also like what, that's not like the only if they're tackling each other and they're in the scrum, I, they, they, I, they I, think I, that's going to protect them. You're also like sweat and everything else that goes into real it. quick. You're also gonna, I, I think you're going to know if teams and owners and whatnot are throwing things under the table if we're in like week five and no one's tested positive because that's just yeah. going to be an impossibility. Yeah. It's like too okay. good to be it's true. It's too good to be true. There's no way. Everyone's 100% healthy. <laughs> yeah. The plan yeah. is working. Yeah. We have killed and COVID. And I, ha- I have black hair and I'm jacked. So no, it's just not going to happen. Oh, Love that. Stop with that. Well, my first cycle of steroids start next week. So yeah, dude, why? we got to get them. I'm if going. anyone out what there. Do you mean, why? Fuck it. Where'd you get them from? I got a, I got a guy. You know a guy. Can you get them for everyone? I mean, yeah. So How much uh, you got to pay? I haven't paid yet. Let me, let me ask you a question. I'll let you know. If you took enough steroids, do you think you'd be strong enough to take a sucker punch? No. I don't think that matters. <laughs> it, you don't you don't put muscle on your jaw. First of all, have you ever seen that jaws are size thing on fucking Instagram? Yeah, because they get suckers like you to buy it because they're good at marketing. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> jaws are size, man. I can't wait till you get fucking zoomed in. Dude, those in guys' jaws are jacked. Anyway. The, fuck that. I'm assuming most of us have seen it. If not, Scott, hopefully you can put this clip in. I have the, no uh, comment on this, by the way. I want your comment on this. This is the Dallas Goddard sucker punch. There's an NFL player do it right there in the boot. Done so. Elaboration here. Sucker punch. Is it the guy? Who's the sucker? Is it Dallas Goddard getting punched the sucker or the guy throwing the punch the sucker? Well, it's not a. you're not calling someone a, sun, a sucker punch puncher you're just calling the punch itself a sucker because it's yeah. a, so it's the punch it, itself the person that d- throws it is a sucker you're not throwing getting, it. Yes. if i'm if okay. i'm sucker punching you i'm not getting labeled the punch sucker, is being delivered by the cunt by the by the sucker yes you get sucker, sucker punch, 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 punch or you give a sucker punch right. and this the punch itself this was this was a, i might sucker punch this one was you crazy tonight i'll fucking eat that shit this is almost hard to Have watch you been working I, out your jaw yeah he got I feel bad for that. Like Philadelphia Eagle, no, I don't care. Like this is really bad. Let me ask you: Do you? The, I hate when people call a punch a sucker punch when people are. You know when people are like face. You ever seen like videos like face to face and mm-hmm. one guy throws the like the fight didn't officially start but he throws the first punch. Yeah. You know like talking shit face to face. Like, oh, he threw a sucker punch. I'm it's like, not a sucker it's not punch. A fucking you sucker just didn't punch. have reflexes to get out right. of the way of the first punch. If you're face to face with it, someone talking shit and you get punched, that's yeah. and it's always you. a go to thing. Like if you're getting punched and you're not, you can't get back. Sucker punch is the easiest way to say. But it. Dallas got our absolutely. This is that's a straight up sucker punch. Wasn't like punch. looking and just in a boot. Done so. One to ten, 13 sucker punch. Yeah, just it was out of control. And he, and he was knocked. He was knocked out. Dude, big tree fall hard, man. That's I really just, wish we knew 
who threw the punch. I want to see the bio of this guy because oh, to come at Dallas Goddard, 6'5", 250, you know you it. Balls. Because you if, you balls. Don't, if you don't crack him, if you don't knock him out, you're dead. I think it came out who uh, punched him. I mean, just looking at the video, the guy, like... You know, he's not small, dude. He doesn't look like he's that small, but... Nah, you tell he just... It's a really shitty video. It's just a good... You could tell he's thrown a few punches before. He comes in and fucking clocks and, well, him. And Kyle Douglas is, Hadala. Oh, you got him? Hadala? Yeah. yeah. I don't know Kyle. if there's a picture of him, though. Why was Dallas Goddard in South Dakota? Who the fuck? Oh, I think playing. he went to school there. No? He's yeah, I mean, but there. still, I, I would still try and get away from that. Oh! What do you think the reason was? You think it was a guy who owns Zach Ertz in fantasy? <laughs> He's like, I got a dynasty or maybe, startup. <laughs> tight end premium dynasty startup. Maybe, maybe it was a Giant fan. He's seen what tight ends do to the Giants over the Is last decade. Is this Wild Lexus? I don't know. It just says Kyle Douglas had dollars. I think we can go off that. Best reasons for Goddard to get fucking sucker punched. Yeah. Car salesman, huh? Maybe Dallas Goddard came in to buy a car with his NFL money. And didn't. And then was like, nah. Or, 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 Wait, what? or, no, I think, I think I get what you're trying to say. He went into this guy's car dealership, right? And this guy was probably talking. That was at a car dealership? No, 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 no. But he's a car salesman, the guy who punched him. No, it looks like it's at a bar. It looks like it's at a bar, no? Does it look like, does it look like the dude he's talking to first? It looks like he's kind of talking shit to the guy first or not. He's backing him up. Like, and that was his, his there friend was coming in. There was definitely an argument going on. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. He, he got rocked. In a boot. Done so. Max, I think you're onto something here. Like the dude who's in his I face really is do. big. The dude who's in his face is big, and then Goddard pushes him back, and then the dude's friend. And then they're all about as tall as Goddard. Yeah, oh my they're God. all big dudes. And then there's a yeah. Buddy Garrity look alike. That looks like what I did to snacks up. back in 11th grade. You remember that? The fuck? He stole my chicken fingers. Last chicken fingers online in lunch. When you guys were in 11th grade, I was in college. No, when you were in 11th grade. Oh. So I was in 9th grade, and I smacked the fuck out of snacks. Yeah, it wasn't high school the, lunch. It wasn't, it wasn't the first or last time. Tell you well, that. anyway, here's what I think happened. I think Dallas Goddard went in to buy a Lexus RX 350 2020. He was saying, like, yeah, this is the car I want to buy. And then he's like, I'll be back later this afternoon. And he never came back. And now, this guy went and saw him at the restaurant and said, hey, Dallas, you never got the car. I don't and think that's like, what ah, happened. And then he went, bam. I think you're onto something, but I don't think that's what happened. I think he went in, and Kyle Douglas Hadala was the one that was selling him the car. <laughs> Was one selling him the car, and then Goddard's like, you know what? I don't just don't know if I like this guy. So he went to a different salesman and bought the sale, bought the car from that guy. So Ooh. Kyle Douglas Hadala missed out on a big paycheck, a big uh, commission, whatever, whatever you call them in, in car sales. Commission, yes. Boom, nailed them. Okay. Can we also low key talk about the fact that the video from that the first video? broke from at Sam Stompy? Was the dude who won the Scott Fishbowl? Was it? Oh, Stompy. Oh no, shit. Yeah. Speaking of the Scott Fishbowl, we're uh, we're all in it, right? We are. We are. I'll see you in it. I think Mike's in it. I want to say no. I was going to wait. Too. I want to wait for my division to be like all our divisions to be finished, so we can go through like who's in them and stuff. It's it starts in if none if you guys don't know, it's like the biggest fantasy football league in the industry. Basically, twelve hundred people, some analysts, some guests. Scott Scott Fish puts it together. Crazy, crazy scoring. Uh, it's a slow draft, and it, it kicks oh. off. It kicks off. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. It kicks off, I think, July 6th or something like that. So, and it goes to like week one. We'll keep, <laughs> basically, yeah. We'll keep you all uh, informed on, on the, when that shit starts up. What uh, division are you guys? Pokemon, baby. Ooh. I got the goat division. I don't know. Good How do I check? I don't know. I, oh, well, I literally just, sent the link just, and directions. It's a trash human it. at this point yeah. if you haven't checked. It's no, for but I have charity. Ch I have checked. It's, it's for charity, dude. For charity. I'll never did forget. You buy, did you for buy the kids? Shirt? It's for the kids. Do you remember when I tweeted out something last year about it and like people started going off about me? Oh, I yeah, tweeted yeah, out yeah, something yeah. like I forget what it was. It was just basically making fun of people who just like keep posting gifts of their players that they drafted. Yeah. I'm like, you're all the most unoriginal motherfuckers ever. People are like it's for charity. Yeah. It's what we do. We do a fucking that. hashtag. I was like, Fuck. because it was like everyone was posting like their pick from the Scott Fish. Yo, I should. You know what I should have done? You know what I really should have done? I should have donated five G's to Fantasy Care and, <laughs> and just dropped a screenshot of it and been like, bitch, bitch say something. Say bitch, something. You know what I want, bitch. You know what I want. Scoop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, he did it! Way to fucking do it! Holy oh, shit! <laughs> skirt. All right, snacks. Snacks said skirt for the first time ever this morning. I did. Now he can't stop. Skirt, skirt. No, I can't. <laughs> skirt. I can't. Jesus, Christ. I gotta drive home with him later. So we'll be <laughs> <laughs> skirting all over the road. <laughs> skirt. All right, is that all we got today? Um, we could talk about the guy, the fighter, if you guys wanted to. If not, I don't know if there's any MMA fight fans out there. Max Roshkoff got his first professional MMA fight in the UFC. And quit. This is well. Come on. He's. Did you watch the video? Put more context to it, though. Yeah. All right. You can't just say he quit. There was. There so was a. There was a big was... back and forth. All right, we got this, champ. Fall. Listen. Listen. Fall. Huh? Fall. 
You're gonna beat this guy, Max. We got this. Oh you can beat this guy. Listen, Rob. we got no. Listen, Rob, God. no. We got this, Max. Okay, stop no. it. Stop it. We got this. Okay, yeah. hey, breathe. Okay, catch your breath. No. We're gonna beat this guy. Call Keep it in her feet. You're gonna clinch. No. Call it. Call it. You sure you're gonna lose, Max? Yeah. We got I this, Max. I don't want to lose you. No, we got this, Max. No, I don't. You're a champion. I don't have it. You champion. Stop it. I don't have it. Stop it. You're a champion. You're a champion. We're gonna keep this. Finish this round on top of it and with precision. Okay. Get on top of him. Out wrestle him. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. One good hold. Right here. You can't. You want to fight or not? He wants to call it. He wants to call it. So, because when the audience listens, they may, you said he got his first his first fight and he quit. Does that mean he quit before he got into the ring? So Did he, he quit two weeks? the ring. He was fighting. He was getting beat up, and uh, he went to his corner in between rounds, and he told his trainer, "I'm done." He said, "I'm done. I I want to call it. I can't do it." And his trainer said to him, "Like, you know, listen, Max. You know, you, you got this." You know, take a deep breath. You know, we'll come back in. You, you wrestle. Did you that know, inspire okay. you when he was like, Max, you got this? You're going to beat this guy, Max. We got this. His name was Max? Yeah. No wonder Personal. he's a fucking quitter. Oh, that's so hard to hear. <laughs> so, hard, so hard to argue. <laughs> but we were, talk, we were talking about it last night, and he definitely went in there as his first fight. He was completely overwhelmed. Listen, so here's completely some things that you should know. And just get he, knocked the fuck he out. He took the fight on short notice. So he was definitely not conditioned well enough. You couldn't say this all before you said he quit. But here's the problem, and here's what I believe people aren't missing. Because the comments underneath these posts were nuts. People were calling for the trainer to be fired and you know thrown in jail for trying to and kill this man. He's like, a very well-respected trainer. He's a well-respected trainer. He's been in MMA for years. He's fought in the past. And what happened was he was just trying to motivate his fighter. That's all it was. It was like, listen, this guy Did come Did you watch off, the fight? Uh, no. I wonder how bad the dude was getting beat up. It's not like – he was just like getting worked. He wasn't like – so he wasn't like bloody in danger of like fucking getting his head bashed off. It wasn't like that. He was just like, like just, just knew tired. the remainder of the fight. He was just gonna get fucked up. So he's like, yeah. I'll just call it now. He's probably he's most likely gonna lose unless he got a knockout. But that's what fighting is. Like you can literally just knock someone out in two seconds and win the fight. So like that's why his trainer's saying, go back in there. Like you're a champion. You got this. Like you can still win. And he's just like, no, I'm done. No, I'm done. Call you, it. you know what? You know call what it. must have sucked the most for that fighter is the fact that like. His whole life up to that point, he was probably the best fighter he's ever yeah. been around. He's undefeated going into this. And, and then he just like realizes his whole life is a lie. Like every, he's probably based his entire last fifteen years around fighting. Goes in, has one fight, gets beat the fuck up, and is like, "I'm not cut out for this." You yeah. have to change your entire mindset on your life. Yes, you and that's what to, I think like the trainer adopted. was trying to to get through to him. Like, listen, this is your first UFC fight. Like, he didn't say any of this, but like by saying like you got to go back out there, like you're not going to get another contract. Yeah. Like if you want to be a professional fighter. You got to fucking fight. It's a cutthroat like, industry. It. Literally. Is, man. That, you know what? When you call yourself a sharp and have animal instincts, when you just said right there might have been the best piece of information you've ever given out. If you want to be a professional fighter, you have to fight. Love that. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. How much better can you end an episode? If you want to be a professional podcaster, you got to fucking podcast. That's what we did today for y'all. So, Jeez. if you enjoyed... As always, make sure you hit that Somebody find up me button. Janet G's number too, by the way. Fucking oh, Dacky. Yeah, I'm, Very I'm texting all my exes tonight. Dak Prescott. Dak. The woman of my dreams. <laughs> you Dak? Uh, <laughs> let us know what you think about the women of the NFL quarterback. The women of the night. Yeah, I'm really curious if anyone else is on the Tannehill train with me because I've, that's no. my... That's probably my number one. You mean uh, Skylar White? That's my number one right there. Oh, shit! Woo! That looked like Ryan Tannehill's woman. God damn! No, it did not. I love this apartment building. All right, that's all we got for you today. Make sure you're all subscribed. We will be here every Friday morning. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. And uh, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. That looks like good. Peace. I'm ready to risk it all. I couldn't name a better my type.